I spent years and years of my life wishing I wasn't different. And I just think the things you can do to almost nurture your differences and trust them, that's like, that's the money, <laughs> you know? Emmy-nominated comic and actor A.D. Bryant is a veteran cast member of Saturday Night Live. She also co-writes and stars in Shrill, a comedy series that explores powerful issues of self-confidence and self-worth. I recently sat down with Aidy to discuss her evolving definition of success, the power of representation, and why she believes her greatest strength is owning what makes her different. I got into comedy because I loved comedy, and I just wanted to do sketch and improv, and, and then soon after doing that and getting up on stage, I realized that just being there as a fat woman was making a statement whether I meant to or not. Like my sheer existence was representing something. I lived every day trying to make sure that no one thought I was fat or that they would call me fat or that I dressed in a way to make sure that I'd never looked fat. And that's so exhausting and it's a waste of my time. And I have better things to do and I am fat. So I'm not gonna hide from that. That's actually part of my life is I'm fat. <laughs> I want to now talk about your work with Shrill. What were the most striking qualities to it that you felt like were absent either from a larger cultural narrative or that we're speaking to in such a poignant way? I really believed in the source material and the main thing that really, like for me, was a question I had always thought, even as a child, where it was like, who decided that there's one way to be beautiful and valuable? Why does this have to be the only way and why do I have to give my entire life so much of my time, money, and energy to trying to make my thighs smaller? When I'm a funny person, I'm a writer, I'm a good friend, I'm a better daughter, you know, all these, I'm so much more than that. And I just hated that like my entire life had to revolve around dieting and, and trying to be beautiful in one way. The thing that I love about Shrill is that I feel like we've made a show that addresses body issues, has a fat character as the lead, but it's not all about that. And it's about so much more. And it's about her as a person and her finding her ability to be assertive, which <laughs> I'm also still trying to find, you know? When you think back to your 20s and the evolution of your career, particularly in SNL, and now as you look to this decade with Shrill and the, and the projects that you continue to spearhead, how would you describe your, your 20s versus who you are right now in this industry. In my early 20s, I was like, success is being on SNL. <laughs> that, that's it. Well, check, There's check, actually check. nothing yeah. past that. And then I was hired at 25, and pretty quickly I was like, oh, at some point I'll have to do something other than SNL, maybe, and what will that be, and how will that look like, and what is my life long-term gonna be? And pretty quickly I was like, oh, I like to, be, the, be in the driver's seat. <laughs> I like to write, I like to produce, and those are the things that feel normal to me. Even when I didn't have confidence in my life, I often felt confident on stage, if that makes sense at all. But it really was almost like the confidence that I found on stage started to seep into my regular life. And, and for me, it really started with improv, where like I was doing plays and I didn't really always feel so comfortable. But once I got to be in the driver's seat and sort of write my own words on the fly, I was like, oh, I know how to do this and I can, I can do this. If you were to sort of rewind the clock to those early days of your career and, and write a letter to your younger self, what's one piece of advice that you either wish that you took, that you listened to, or that you wish someone had told you? I maybe wish someone would have told me that there will be a lot of voices and experts and managers and agents and producers who are telling you what to do, but often your gut is the answer. And also just that to not be too hard on yourself. I think that's a lot of what Shrill is about and partially what I learned at SNL. My early days, I was incredibly hard on myself and I thought every day at SNL that I would be fired. And now I look back on my first season and I had like, a recurring character within my first couple weeks and I was on the show a lot and I wrote so much that got on and I was so cruel to myself and that's what I did for many years about my body I was really cruel to myself and I wish that I could go back and like get that time back